What's up guys, it's Bebe Hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am filming a few days in my life. I know you guys love the last one that I did where I just filmed for a few days and brought you along for kind of everything, so that is the plan for the next couple of days. Today is Sunday. May 16th and I don't know if you guys can really see this on my phone the glare is really bad but it is 5 57 right now did my hair and makeup a little earlier and I just got dressed I'll show you guys my outfit in the full-length mirror but I am gonna be heading to dinner here pretty soon with one of my friends she made a reservation for us at 6 30 and I think it's called Janga, but like I don't exactly know how to pronounce it, so I could totally be saying it wrong. But we're going to sushi, and I have been craving sushi for the last couple of days, so I didn't really eat a lot today because I want to get there and be like starving so I can eat a bunch of sushi, but I'm so excited. So I'm gonna leave here shortly. It's not that far away from here. They have two locations in Vegas. Outfit of the night is this black leather blazer from Princess Polly. Actually, this whole outfit is from Princess Polly. And then I have on this white bustier top and it has like a V in the front of it. So I just tucked it in to my jeans. And then I'm just wearing denim blue straight leg jeans and some black leather booties just like tie it all together. bad vlogger at dinner we got the food and i filmed a clip of it but then i was so hungry that i just ate so much sushi probably like my weight in sushi <laughs> i'm totally kidding but it was so bomb i literally am so full now but it was so worth it like you cannot go wrong with just eating tons of sushi <laughs> and I got home and I just put on like a sweatshirt and sweatpants like I get home and the minute I walk into the door I'm like taking my clothes off I'm like putting sweats in the sweatshirt on like I cannot wear jeans and booties and all that like the second I walk in the door so I got my comfies on but I did shower before I put this on and I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys feel like when you get home from a restaurant, you like smell like the restaurant? I don't know why. I just like go to a restaurant and then I get home and I'm like worried that I like smell like it. So I have to shower and usually I'll like take a bath when it's evening because I like to like relax. But tonight I really want to watch Emily in Paris and I didn't really want to sit in the bath that long tonight so I was like I'm gonna rinse off in the shower and I know I still have like my full hair and makeup it was like the quickest body shower and I put this on my hair when I shower it's my microfiber towel when I don't want my hair to get wet and it actually works really well so if you want a little hack, like try a microfiber towel. Maybe I should order like a, whoops, I just dropped it, shower cap or something. But I don't really do that that often because I do like to take a bath. But that sushi was just so good. <laughs> I have like more recently got into sushi. I didn't like grow up eating sushi, but now I've been eating it a lot more. And I need to take my makeup off.
Good morning, you guys. I forgot to run the dishwasher last night. So I don't have any of my beer can glasses clean. So we're gonna go with coffee in a mason jar today. You guys have been asking me for a cool sculpting update and just so you know I did not sleep in this I wore a t-shirt and underwear to sleep but I obviously don't want to wear that in the video so I put this back on this morning but I'm gonna try to show you my like cool sculpting update I feel like I'm still kind of bloated from my sushi dinner but this is where I like got it down here and I definitely think that it's like going down like it's I think that it has like made a difference right here I don't know if you guys can like see this but I'm like definitely like happy with it it has only been I can look at the calendar like a month and a half Maybe it's been almost two months. So it usually shows all the way after three months. So we still have a little bit of time, but it was like right here. And I feel like you can see that it's like going down, you know? But don't mind my sushi stomach. <laughs> I'm looking at my phone right now and I got the cool sculpting done on March 24th and it is May 17th. Oh my gosh! Happy Sutnamai! Hip hip hurrah! <laughs> if you're Norwegian, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I just totally lost my train of thought because I got so excited. I usually go to the Norwegian parade in Ballard when I lived in Seattle and it was so fun. But okay, anyways, I got it done on March 24th and it is now, I just said May 17th. So that is like almost two months. So I'm not even at two months yet. So it will still keep probably, um, I guess you could say developing, but if you miss the video, basically cool sculpting is a fat freezing technology. So they put these applicators onto the area that you want to treat and they freeze your fat. It stays on for like 30, 35 minutes and then they take it off, massage it out for like one to two minutes and you're done. It's like a like super easy thing that you can do to get rid of stubborn fat and it's like non-invasive, but I don't feel like it was really painful at all. Like I could feel it for the first like I would say week to two weeks that the area was super numb like I could definitely tell that I got it done But it wasn't painful at all. So I would definitely like recommend it. I do think that it's working and Just being like fully transparent. I didn't pay for this I got it done for free because I was like promoting it on Instagram but if I wanted to do another area i would pay for it because i think that it works if that makes sense like i think that it is worth the money because it does work but i know that the price is outrageous so hopefully that makes sense but if you're interested in it at all and you like want to like learn more about it you can go to the cool sculpting website and they have this whole like fact section with like a bunch of common like questions that people have so i'll keep you guys updated in like another month or so and maybe you'll see like another difference in my stomach <laughs> i just got ready i threw on this set that i got from white fox it's a long sleeve like button up 
And then matching shorts. You guys probably saw it in my White Fox haul. But I am having a serious issue this morning because I have no yogurt. So I can't make the iconic Baby Hey breakfast. And I have no peanut butter. So I can't make oatmeal. So... I need to go to the store <laughs> and I kind of want to get Starbucks today I haven't had Starbucks probably in over a month so I'm kind of craving a Starbucks and actually Lauren was just texting me saying that she's on her way to Starbucks and it made me want to go <laughs> so we are gonna go to Starbucks and the store Hey, can I get a grande iced matcha latte? Unfortunately, we're um, on a district-wide shortage, so we don't have any matcha at the moment. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um, is there any other Starbucks location that has it or no? Um, other locations could have it. I don't know. I don't know off top. Um, I think I might go to another one. Are you gonna check with them? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about. No, that. that's okay. Thank you. Guys, I just decided they. I can't believe they don't have matcha. Like what? And I don't. I don't really want anything unless there's matcha. So depressing, you guys. They don't have my yogurt. And it's on sale. They only have the vanilla one. But I've told you guys it's too sweet for me. So I'm just going to get the Kite Hill one. Because I really want some yogurt this morning. And then I also got the Santa Cruz Crunchy Dark Roasted Peanut Butter avocado strawberries and blueberries my yogurt craving is about to be cured i didn't put strawberries because i didn't want to wash and cut them and i already had these blueberries ready and then i just topped it with coconut flakes cacao nibs and goji berries decided that i'm gonna get a matcha at toast society because starbucks didn't have one Look how cute this is. Matches my matcha. I'm just gonna do some editing. I have a video that I need to finish, but this place is so cute. Skims order right now. I decided to stop and get a car wash on my way home because my car is literally so dirty. You guys know the drill. I add everything but the bagel seasoning on top of my eggs. So fast and easy to make. Lots of protein and I love having a ton of veggies in my scrambled eggs. I feel like it makes it more filling and super good. So this is what I'm going to eat for lunch right now. currently watching and I'm on episode 9. There's only 10 episodes so I'm almost done with the season. I took a bath which was 
so relaxing and it was warm and i used my coco colada scrub so my skin is feeling like very soft and then i put on some lotion and now i'm watching julia and hunter havens their most recent vlog and if you guys don't watch them on youtube i love their youtube channel and both of their instagrams are so fun to keep up on too they just have the cutest relationship and i'm watching their video because emily in paris is over now i finished the whole season and i literally binged it in like three days it was so fast but i think it's just because the episodes are short but it was like adorable and I really liked it. I'm not really sure what to watch next because I've watched so many of the shows that you guys suggested. I went through Bridgerton, Ginny and Georgia, Firefly Lane. Um, what else have I watched? I'm currently watching All American, but that's been like kind of weird because they keep taking like long breaks in the show, which is very confusing. And did I mention Firefly Lane? And now Emily in Paris. And then there was one more, Good Girls. I watched that. So I've watched like so many of the shows that you guys told me to watch. And I need to go back to when I asked you guys for show recommendations on Instagram and look at that video because you guys suggested so many. So I'll probably have to like pick another one from there and I think I want to watch Big Little Lies. I've heard good reviews about that. And then I think there's another one, Dead to Me. And I kind of started watching Shit's Creek, but I haven't finished that. I only like got through a little bit of like the first season and that's really good. So maybe I'll pick that show back up. I don't know. I'm all over the place on shows. So if you guys have like a specific one that you want me to watch, then tell me what it is because i will watch it <laughs> but i'm gonna finish watching their vlog and it's already 11:05 right now so i'm just gonna watch this and then go to sleep so i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning, you guys. It's not super morning anymore. Just got my second cup of coffee. It is actually 11 and I'm still in my pajamas and have not done my hair, makeup, showered. I've just been doing work on my computer all morning. I have sent off a couple emails and I just wanted to get as much done as I could today. And I mean, I wanted to get as much done as I could earlier in the day. And then I'm thinking about going and getting my nails done later. I'm either gonna do that today or tomorrow. I haven't called, so I need to see if they have any appointments available because my nails are like chipping and they're just like getting kind of grown out. I don't know if you can really see, but it's like worse on this hand. And I just want to do something different now. So my plan is either get my nails done today or tomorrow. I also have a couple errands that I need to run and I need to ship a package back. So I need to go to the UPS today and yeah, finish up some editing right now. And then I'm just going to get ready for the day. I'm going to call the nail salon to ask them about an appointment. I honestly think I just want to go tomorrow. Because there's some other stuff I want to do today. So I'm going to see if they have anything available. Can I help you? Hi, I was calling to see if I could book an appointment tomorrow with Anne. She's booked until Thursday? Yeah. Okay. Thursday, she only has a 12.30. Okay, can I take the Thursday at 12.30? What's your name? Haley. And what do you, do you want to get done? Just the dip? Yeah, just the dip. All right, we'll see you on Thursday at 12.30 for a dip with Anne. Okay, you. thank you so much. Bye. 
So I guess I can't go today or tomorrow because today is Tuesday. So I'll go on Thursday and wow, I guess this is literally turning into a week in my life. <laughs> Outfit of the day is this tank from Princess Polly and shorts are actually from Princess Polly too. It's like 91 degrees out so it's going to be all summer outfits from here on out pretty much. And then I just paired it with my Superga sneakers. It's a bit later this afternoon. I went and ran my errands and now I'm at the gym. I just threw on these random workout clothes, a Lululemon sports bra, and these Gymshark pants in the camo. And I'm gonna do an upper body workout today. It's Tuesday, and on Tuesdays I do upper body, so I just need to get that done. I went down to the gym and worked out, and then I rinsed off in the shower. And before I went and ran my errands, I ran the dishwasher. So I'm just emptying this right now. And when I went down to the gym today, I kind of went a little bit too late because there was a lot of people in there. And I did not like that. So I didn't really film a lot of the workout because I don't know. I don't want other people to like feel weird being in the background. So I didn't really film the workout. But I am in the middle of making some dinner right now as well. And I just have some broccoli that's roasting in the oven. And I like to cook chicken a couple days, like a couple days in advance. So I made chicken like three days ago and it lasts in the fridge for like three to four days. So then I can just make like new rice and new broccoli, but I don't have to like keep cooking everything every single night. And I've been doing that more lately, just like with meal prepping. So that I don't have to be like constantly cooking something. But the chicken I have right now is the last piece. So I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and get salmon. I'm really in the mood to have salmon. I also haven't had shrimp in a long time either. So maybe I'll buy a shrimp when I go. Because I was making that shrimp rice bowl. But I had it like every single day for so long. So I stopped having it. I took a little break. <laughs> but I think I'm wanting that again so I'll do a Trader Joe's run tomorrow I don't really need a lot but I do need protein and I might get those sausages too again because those are really good I know you guys have seen this dinner multiple times but it's just an easy go-to for me and I season the chicken with everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I obviously just topped it with the organic coconut aminos from Trader Joe's. And roasted the broccoli with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. I'm still kind of at a loss for what show to start. So I'm not going to start a new show tonight. Oh my gosh. You guys, I literally just remembered. I'm so happy right now. All American, the new episode came out last night and I forgot to watch it. So I'm definitely gonna watch that right now. Yes! Wow. My memory just now made my night. But I watch it on the CW. The first season is on Netflix, but I stream it on the CW on Tuesdays, and today is Tuesday, and then I use Apple AirPlay to play it on my TV. 
but we get those days now. Wow, I am so happy. So now, I'm going to watch this while I eat my dinner. I love the vibes of my room at night. And I got my candles lit on my nightstand. These are from anthropology and i think anthro has the best candles they smell amazing and they look so pretty but i'm just gonna get cozy in bed and get a good night's sleep hello hello it is the next day today is wednesday may 19th and I am out running a couple errands so this morning I was doing so much work and I was on the phone I was emailing and I um, was uploading a video and editing so I just had a lot going on this morning but I realized when I was uploading a new video that my Wi-Fi was super slow and usually when I upload a new YouTube video it takes like 30-ish minutes and you guys this was taking all morning like five hours to upload and I was super annoyed so I was trying to figure that all out and apparently at my apartments they changed our wi-fi plan so i had already upgraded mine but apparently like the package that i upgraded to they got rid of at cox so i got basically downgraded and that made my upload speed super bad so i was on the phone trying to figure it out and they said that i have to drive to cox and bring my modem so I unplug this and I am here now hopefully they can fix my Wi-Fi so if you guys don't really understand the whole thing with Wi-Fi like when you're trying to upload a YouTube video you have to have a really high upload speed it doesn't matter what your download speed is and they were saying we gave you a really good download speed I'm like no like I need a good upload speed and they're like well I don't know if we can do that and I'm like look you don't understand like I need a good upload speed so hopefully when I actually like go into the store they can fix it for me so that is what I'm gonna do right now and then I also mentioned yesterday that I want to go to Trader Joe's so I'm gonna go there as well so I can get like salmon and the other things that I need but I am just like praying that they can fix my Wi-Fi and it's not super expensive because I already pay it through my apartments and I don't want to pay a lot of extra money for my Wi-Fi. You guys, I just had the best experience at Cox. So basically, I went in there and I explained my situation and Dylan was helping me and he was so nice. <laughs> I just told him that I really needed my upload speed to be better and there's usually a $100 fee for someone to come out and like swap out the modem, but he got that wave for me and then my Wi-Fi will be so amazing. I'm gonna have like a really good upload and download speed. So he told me to just keep this and plug it back in and then on Friday they're gonna come out and switch it and fix it all for me and then he gave me his card and was like if there's any issues just send me an email so shout out to Dylan changing my life fixing my Wi-Fi <laughs> so now we're gonna go 
to Trader Joe's. These are the juice shots that I took. So they have the Mighty Turmeric, No Joke Ginger, and then the Mighty C, which is a cherry one. But I'm gonna get a couple of the turmeric and ginger. And then they also have the Suja brand, vitamin D and zinc juice shots. If you know the struggle, this is a very rare sighting at Trader Joe's. So I grabbed two boxes and I'll give you the haul of everything else when I get home. I got the just mango slices. These are the unsulfured and unsweetened ones. They have like their sweetened version, but I swear this one is way better. And then I got the sun-dried tomato with basil and tomato chicken sausages. The shrimp. These are the raw wild-caught red shrimp. Some green beans. I've been eating a lot of broccoli, so I need to switch it up. And then I also got the wild Alaska sockeye salmon fillets, so I can make that for dinner tonight. And then two boxes of the jazz and rice since they never have it. And then I got two of the turmeric shots and then two of the ginger shots. And then lastly, I picked up some more. Dang it, you guys. I meant to get cinnamon and I got cumin shoot <laughs> so I guess I still need to get cinnamon that is depressing and then I got everything but the bagel seasoning but that is my entire Trader Joe's haul so put all of this away I just finished prepping the salmon. I just squeezed lemon juice over it, grinded some black pepper, and then I topped it all with some extra lemon slices. I just took the salmon out of the oven and it turned out perfectly, so just need to cut myself a piece of that. I also sauteed the green beans and then I had half a bag of the jasmine rice left from dinner yesterday, so I just heated that up in the microwave. Full dinner displayed, got the jasmine rice green beans, and salmon with lemon. I have been eating my dinners on the couch lately because I've been so into watching shows and I don't know, I just have not been in the mood to sit on the floor. And then I feel like when I sit over there in the bar stool chair, it's like a little bit too far from the TV. So the couch it is. Also, do you hear the fact that my phone is blowing up? I texted Lauren because she had mentioned a show for me to start and I couldn't remember the name of it. And so I said, what series did you tell me to start? And she said, Queen's Gambit, start right now. And then I was like, Netflix? Question mark. And she, I was like, I just finished my other show, so I need to. And she said, yes, it's amazing, my favorite show. So I really trust her, especially because we watched Bridgerton together. So the fact that she thinks Queen's Gambit is her favorite show, I mean, this is a pretty great recommendation. <laughs> so I'm gonna find this and start it. I'm super excited. You guys should comment down below if you have seen Queen's, what is it? The Queen's Gambit. And tell me what you think. If you've never seen it and you want a show to watch, then you can start it and watch it with me. <laughs> so here we go. You guys, 
I literally just finished the first episode and I am already obsessed with this show. It is totally giving me Bridgerton vibes. And I texted my mom and was like, have you seen The Queen's Gambit? And she literally just called me and was like, Haley, I've been trying to get you to watch this show for like six months. And I'm like, really? Have you? <laughs> and... I already love it like it's super intense my heart is like pounding the first episode was seriously so good the only thing is that I do think that this show might take me a little bit longer to get through just because the episodes are kind of long the first episode was 52 minutes and then it says this one is an hour and five minutes but it is so good so if you need a show to watch and you haven't watched this then you need to start this right now do we not just love a clean kitchen besides my trash over there that i need to take to the trash chute but my candles are on and here's me <laughs> and then got the cozy vibes watching Queen's Gambit, so I'm about to start episode two. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, and last night, I need to update you. So I went to bed pretty late because I did watch another episode of The Queen's Gambit and it's super good. And then after I watched the show, I was getting ready for bed and I realized that I had those like ponytail space bun type hairdo. And I was like, dang it, I feel like I should shower. So I showered and washed my hair and then I was like, well now I don't want to go to sleep with wet hair because it'll look all weird when I wake up. So I used the Dyson Airwrap last night and I ended up going to sleep around midnight so it was kind of late but I'm so into that show and then I also forgot to say this so yesterday after I got home from Trader Joe's I realized that I was out of the Stoke cold brew so I ran over to Smith's and picked that up and then I got some yogurt when I was there so I can have yogurt for breakfast. And I need to go aesthetically pour this froth milk into this glass because I am trying to make a reel today that's like a day in my life reel because I've had some people request for me to do like a day in my life like reels or tiktoks and i'm just like not a tiktoker or like a reel maker like i feel like i'm not good at it honestly i like don't know what to do and so i'm like okay i'm gonna try my best today to make a day in my life reel and hopefully it turns out <laughs> so that is like my goal and then I'm also getting my nails done today. Appointment is at 1230 that we made a couple days ago. So I need to figure out how I want to do my nails today too. I'm gonna go try to figure out how I can pour this in some like good lighting. <laughs> the OGs know, but in case you are new here, this is what you need for the iconic Baby Hay breakfast. The Forager cashew milk dairy-free yogurt, strawberries and blueberries, or you could do any fruit, but these are just my favorite. And then the berry box colanders are from Crate and Barrel. And then we have coconut flakes, cacao nibs, hemp seeds, and goji berries. I have been loving the taste of goji berries. Like, it is so good with it. So, going to make my breakfast. About to head out to my nail appointment. Sorry if it's kind of loud. The AC is running. But, 
You guys probably already kind of saw the outfit. I'm just wearing this crop tank from Princess Polly and I'm wearing this in a US 2. I love the style of this. I think it's super flattering with a high neck. And then I have these joggers on from White Fox. Love a little monochromatic look. And these joggers are in a size small. They are a little bit on the bigger side. I do like the oversized look, but I definitely could have gotten an extra small and they'd still probably be oversized. And then I have my Air Force Ones on. And a lot of you guys ask about this bag a lot. It is the Louis Vuitton favorite in the PM size. And unfortunately, they discontinued it, but you might be able to find it um, secondhand. Fresh set, and I think it turned out really cute. I just got a like diagonal pink line for the tips, and I did dip, don't come after me, but I got NN7 as the base, and then it was B183 as the pink color. Not exactly sure what that means, but I really love the way that they turned out. I'm just home making some lunch. About to open up this avocado I just cut. Beautiful. Lunch of the day is avocado toast with everything but the bagel seasoning and two fried eggs. In the gym and I figured since I got pink nails, I'll wear my pink set today and I've been kind of bad at filming my workouts this week just because when I get down to the gym, I get into like workout mode and I just like haven't been thinking about the camera that much. But today is Thursday, so I'm doing legs today. And then yesterday on Wednesdays, it's technically a rest day, but I did 12, 3:30, And then Tuesday I did upper body and then Monday, I did legs, so that's just kind of how the workouts go, and that's on Whitney Simmons Alive program. So that's how I've been working out lately, is just like following her program, and I really do like it. I think that it helps me just like stay structured. So if you need something to try out, you can definitely do her program or like look at her Instagram for some good workouts. Fresh air in my apartment. Got Justin Bieber on. The sun is peeking through. It's a good evening. Making a little spaghetti for dinner. So just added the noodles. These are the Bonza chickpea spaghetti noodles. So I'm going to cook these up and then. I'm also going to make one of these chicken sausages from Trader Joe's. They have basil and tomatoes in them and they're minimally processed, no artificial ingredients or preservatives. And then I'm going to try out this Rayo's tomato and basil pasta sauce. Made this spaghetti, a little sausage, and then I also sauteed some green beans to have on the side. This is a dinner that I will not eat sitting on the couch because if I spilled, I would be very sad because I don't think I can really get red sauce out of the couch that much. Happy Friday, you guys. Sorry this is the first time I'm picking up the camera today. It's been a very busy day. It's currently 7.08 p.m. and I just got off the phone with my grandma. I also folded two loads of laundry, I did towels, and then a load of lights, but it's just been a productive Friday. Other things I got done today was loading the dishwasher, running that, putting it all away. 
And then I went down to the gym, did my upper body workout, and I also did a ton of editing. I finished editing that little mini like day in my life reel and I posted it on Instagram. So if you guys haven't seen it, go back and watch it and then let me know what you think because I'm just curious on if you guys like little mini day in my life videos on Instagram like that. So I did that, I started editing a YouTube video, and now I just am gonna be pretty much hanging out for the rest of the evening, like not gonna be too exciting. My Friday night festivities will just be making some dinner and watching more Queen's Gambit. I finished the third episode last night, so I'm just excited to watch more of it tonight and just like keep binging it. So. Hopefully I'll get through like an episode or two. But I am going to close out this week in my life here. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and just spending the week with me. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.